we're at Epcot today and a lot of people think that that ball behind me is Epcot but that is just one part of Epcot that is Spaceship Earth uh, you can uh, you, it's a ride through attraction where you see uh, the history of communication in the world and they've just recently renovated it and added some really fun effects uh, with uh, photo memory and face recognition and stuff like that um, Epcot uh, was originally Walt Disney's vision of uh, the future. It stands for Experimental Prototype Community of Tomorrow. And uh, the park that's here now was not, uh, didn't really turn out to be what it was that Disney wanted to do, but it does, still does sort of have sort of a World's Fair uh, feeling to it. There's Future World and uh, World Showcase. In Future World, you can yeah, try out all sorts of new technologies, and there's some really fun uh, attractions like Test Track and Mission Space and Soar. And, and uh, World Showcase is like a you know, World's Fair where there's uh, different countries are represented. And uh, we actually are here at this time uh, in Florida because here at Epcot is the International Food and Wine Festival, where uh, countries uh, have special stands set up where you can try food and wine and all sorts of specialties from their countries and so we're really excited about uh, pigging out today and getting something to drink. This is Spaceship Earth, Epcot's famous landmark attraction. This is the view from the inside of the park, not from the entrance. Here it is on the map. Like I said, Spaceship Earth teaches you about the history of communication and at the end of it they uh, take your picture and use face, rec uh, what is it called, face recognition uh, to put you into these cute little films. Check it out. That's me and that's Marcus. Like I said, this is how the ride ends and you can choose any language to hear it in. We chose German, of course, but they had all these other different languages saved, and I think there were three different movies you could choose from, and I don't even know how many different languages, so it's really fascinating. And that's the end of the movie and also the end of Spaceship Earth. Back out in the future world, over here we have the Universe of Energy starring Ellen DeGeneres and Bill Nye the Science Guy. It's a great attraction for kids in this gigantic building in which you're not allowed to take any pictures uh, with dinosaurs and some really cool effects. Um, however, it takes 45 minutes, so make sure you keep that in mind before you begin your journey. Moving along here we have Mission Space. Yeah. Mission Space is the most intense simulator ride on the planet. Uh, riders become part of a training mission for astronauts going to Mars. And you are put in these little capsules. Everybody has a, um, a duty. And yeah, it simulates what it's like to fly to Mars. And it's not for people who are... Uh, who suffer from motion sickness or don't like small spaces or basically don't like moving at all. So if you're not one of these people, then enjoy Mission Space. Otherwise, I would recommend you stay far, far away because it made me totally sick. Crossing over to the other side of Future World, we have the Living Seas with Nemo and Friends. If you ask me, the Living Seas could be a separate stand-alone attraction that I would pay for but it's all included in the price of Epcot. It's so cool. If you've ever been to like uh, underwater world attraction, it's very similar. It's a huge indoor aquarium 
uh, with all the fish and sharks and things that you want to see. Plus, uh, Turtle Talk with Crush, which is an interactive movie where kids can actually talk to Crush. And the Finding Nemo ride, where you get to see scenes uh, from Finding Nemo, as you can see here, uh, which is really cool. It's like projected onto the aquarium, so it looks like the fish are really in there with the real fish. Yeah, great, great place to hang out with kids and also a great place to go if it's raining because it's all inside. And it also houses the great coral reef restaurant where you have a view of the aquarium and uh, some really, really good food. Coral reef. Next to the Living Seas is the Land Pavilion. It's over here on the map, and it houses several attractions. One of them is Listen to the Land. It's a very relaxing and informative boat ride uh, through a research laboratory, basically, uh, which includes several greenhouses where Disney and scientists and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are working on developing new technologies to help the agricultural industry. In these living laboratories, scientists from Epcot, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, and Nestle are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests now and into the future. It might be kind of boring, but it's also very relaxing. And they do very useful things there, like grow uh, Mickey Mouse shaped pumpkins. Also in this building is the Circle of Life movie, which is a fun, actually very funny movie starring the characters of The Lion King, and they teach you about saving the environment. But the most popular attraction in the building, and the most popular attraction in all of Epcot, is Soarin' which, if you ask me, is a little bit overrated, but it's a very fun uh, simulator in which you fly over the United States. I think it's actually mostly California, but it's really cool, very effective. Um, make sure you get there early or get a fast pass because the lines get really long. This is the Imagination Institute, which houses two attractions that are great for the whole family and people who aren't into thrill rides. One of them is the Journey into Imagination ride, which is somewhat psychedelic, but very cute and uh, absolutely not thrilling at all. Also is Honey, I Shrunk the Audience, which is a really funny 4D film. Might be a little scary for little, little kids, but all in all, it's really cool. Also interesting to note are the jumping fountains in front of Honey, I Shrunk the Audience. This is actually a technology that Disney developed, and this was the first place in the world that these kind of fountains were to be seen. Crossing over to the other side of Future World, we have my favorite Epcot attraction, Test Track. The idea behind Test Track is that riders are visiting a test facility for new vehicles, and you actually get to ride in one of the vehicles that's going to be tested. It's huge and uh, very long. You get put through hairpin turn tests and brake tests, and then there are hot and cold tests for the paint. And uh, I wouldn't recommend it for very small kids or for people who don't like roller coasters because when you get outside, it goes very, very fast. It's actually, with over 60 miles an hour, the fastest Disney attraction at any Disney park in the whole world. 